Python 3.14 is here. Let's go over what's new in this version and why you should care. This release is packed with real changes, better debugging, smarter annotations, a new interpreter, and even tweaks that'll make your try except blocks look cleaner. Let's start with a big change. PEP 649. Python now defers the evaluation of annotations. That means they aren't evaluated immediately when a function is defined. Instead, they're stored and evaluated only when needed. In Python 3.14, this won't crash unless you explicitly evaluate the annotation. Now, forward references don't need to be in quotes anymore. Clean, right? This new standard library module gives you full control over how you retrieve annotations. You can pick one of these formats, perfect for tools, libraries, or frameworks that depend on introspection. Next, Python 3.14 also lets you skip parentheses in accept and accept star blocks if you're not using an as clause. Simple, clean, and very readable. This also works for accept star, which handles exception groups in concurrent code. Next up, Python now has a zero overhead, safe debugging interface. Look at this method. This lets you run Python code in another running Python process, safely. There are security controls too, like the Python disable remote debug flag. Next, if you're embedding Python in C apps, PEP741 brings a unified API for Python configuration, pyinitconfig. It's simpler, future-proof, and supports extension modules without the old init tab hack. Now, this one's about writing safe and predictable code. Python now disallows return, break, or continue that exit of finally block. Next up, Python 3.14 ships with an experimental interpreter that uses tail calls between C functions. It's opt-in and currently supports Clang 19 or above on X8664 and Arch 64 Early benchmarks? Up to 30% faster, but a safe estimate is 3-5% gain in real-world code. Enable it with this command, and yes, it doesn't change your code at all, just makes it faster. Alright, time for a quick-fire round of smaller but still super cool updates in Python 3.14. First, map function gets strict mode. Just like zip, now the map function can yell at you if the lengths don't match. Second, clearer unpacking errors. Ever tried this? Now Python will tell you exactly what went wrong. Third, super function can now be pickled. Yep, it's finally serializable. So if you're doing some meta-class magic or multi-processing trickery, this helps. Fourth, new conversion methods, float dot from number and complex dot from number. A safer, stricter way to convert numbers. Last one, rejects backslash b got smarter. Backslash b now matches the empty input string. So that's Python 3.14. If you want to try it out today, just head to Python's official website and grab the 7th alpha version. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.